seemed to be the perfect combination of so many different elements. Mm. Um, starting with the scripts, the scripts were absolute perfection. Um, and then the combination of the cast, the crew, was just one of those joyous occasions where everything seems to come together perfectly. But as soon as I read the pilot script, I just wanted that role pretty desperately because the material was so strong. And we hadn't seen anything on telly that was comedy drama in Australia mm. in those days. Miranda, Rupert, this is... Diver Dan. Diver Dan. Can we just call you Dan? Uh, no, you can call me Diver if you like. Well, I mean, I loved Laura myself. She was a, um, a really flawed person who was trying to find her way, doing her best, always striving to do her best, but making consistent mistakes. I think it was her vulnerability, I think it was her frailties, her neurosis. And I think that that's what people responded to. They just, it was something that they hadn't perhaps seen before. He was adventurous, he'd take risks. He was obviously enigmatic, he was flawed, but essentially he was a good man. And I think that's what people gravitated towards. Other men bring women flowers or chocolates or lingerie. Me, I'm more of a mullet man myself. It's a clear-cut case of opposites attract, opposites attract yeah. which we understand. But if, I think it was sort of more than that. They could complete one another. Sorry to use the cliche, but they could because they were so wildly different. Mm. I mean, I just think Dan was sort of amused and bemused and charmed by Laura's kind of neuroses, really, wasn't he? Yes. And the <laughs> <laughs> I would like to put in a vote for the twice-cooked chicken souffle dusted with brioche crumbs. I think Heather was it hit sometimes because we used to call her the goddess of small moments, that, you know, if Bob was having some guests from overseas, if they were Japanese, she'd wear a kimono. And if they were Mexican, of course, she'd be there with a large sombrero. Part of the genius was that the characters were all flawed. Yep. in their own particular way. It's the source of the comedy and the source of the drama. Yeah, and a yeah. relief for the viewers watching. Yeah. Oh, that's my wife. Oh, that's my Yeah, husband. yeah. What about my favourite bit, which was you and your gorgeous son? And yes, I think Chris Lyons. Chris Lyons at the end with you mm. two reminiscing. See, that's a great thing about living in the country. We keep no secrets. I think it captured something that's that's interesting among Australian blokes, which is that you, you don't have to say it out loud. You can just kind of, it can be unsaid. I think Kevin sang to people because he represented some sort of peacefulness and self-sufficiency that, you know, people such as Laura Gibson desperately were searching for. And it was an extremely difficult kiss to pull off. Because we were in wetsuits wet with, yes. with um, little nose on our yeah. face, faces. You'd been training me to scuba dive. That's right. Because I was sort That's of more or less trying does. to climb on top of you. Because we sort of went hard at it pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah. It was great fun. Oh, well, I'm glad we got that out of the way. I loved every day working with you. You are a delight and a pleasure to share a set with. You really are. Just Same. Such Ditto. A, such yeah, a it was... joyous time. It was a joy to be on set every day and literally play, which is what acting essentially is.